so happy to have Kate here from Art Impressions, and she has something, well, she always has something new. Always have to bring something <laughs> yes. new and exciting and things that are just going to wow the people that you are sending lovely cards to. Yes. We've got a new his set and her set that are great for the people that you love in your life. And you're going to show new ways to do them. So come, come play, play with, with us. us. Now these are the two newest, the She Shed mm -hmm. and the Man Cave, so feminine and masculine. Mm -hmm. So our potting shed is made for um, these fun ladies in your life that love to get out in the garden, but you can also make it into a crafty room if you'd like. You could. Um, it's very cute. It's got our cute little pots and a wheelbarrow on the inside and a little bunny resting on a shelf all the way in the middle. <laughs> we also have our Man Cave, which is for that outdoor guy that's taking care of the yard that's doing all the handy things with the saws and the brooms and all that fun stuff um, all the way through to the inside as well it also has a little shelf on the inside and these are made to be this three panel fold so you've seen this before we've had other videos for, with paper wishes on how to reveal into the center so each of them has a large a medium and a small image that has die cuts in the middle to peek all the way through so we've got card bases for you that you can use to flip this all the way through. Right. It's look like this. There's eight cards and eight envelopes together. We carry those, of course. Cut and scored, ready yeah. to go. But today I want to bring you something a little different. Uh -huh. So today I'm bringing you a little diorama. So this one looks all the way through and you can see the layers as you shift back and forth. You can see the little rake and the little um, shovel as well as the pot and that little bunny on the inside. show the top part? and the top part yeah. so you can see all the way yeah. down into it. So all I did was cut and score. I'm going to show you how to make this really beautiful card. And just point of fact before we go on, you can make the uh, cave for women who do tools and yep. you can make the shed for yep. men who do gardening. Yep. yep. Both of them have <laughs> completely separate. These little stamps that come on in the top um, hanging banner um, are completely separate. So you stamp those in afterwards. So, yes. yep, you can change them up. And what I love is that the stamps, the dies, and instructions are included in each of them. So it's really a complete set. You just need the cards. We try to make it easy on and you. And we need you. <laughs> <laughs> so. All right. So for this card, I just wanted to create more like an A2 size card base. This is going to be a little bit less than, so when it's folded flat and mailed, this is still gonna be five and a half, but it's by four, so it's just a little bit shorter. Okay. And so what I did is I just kind of did my math. I did an inch and a half, <laughs> <laughs> inch and a half, five and a half inch, inch score, a seven inch score, and an 11 inch score. This base is four inches by 11 and a half because I okay. need just a little half piece at the end to be right. able to connect it together. So I got that all prepped. I used our cute little squares as well. So we have some really cute stitched square dies that you're able to cut these openings. We've come up with many of our double stitched images. Right. And we're gonna be using the square. So I just used my smallest one to cut a little opening into the card. Nice. I also cut a second piece, four inches by five inches, so I could do a half inch score on both sides. That's going to be that middle part. That's going to be this mm -hmm. middle section. So let's get putting this together. When I did my square, I went ahead and I colored and I cut. I did some fussy cutting around these two pieces. These both have the die cut pieces, so it has the window die cut and the opening into the center of the card. Nice. Use my squares again. They're always really handy to cut around my little um, bunny. We also have this set comes with a really cute die for the little pot as well that we can put on the front. So that one includes that one as well. Got this all prepped and ready for you. Very good. So for this first piece, I just kind of saw where I wanted this opening. So the- Scoochy right there. Perfect, <laughs> thank you. So we just wanna make sure we're, we've got the opening right. I am just, there's a little dash score line. I'm just gonna open up these little door panels. And that's using that cutting die. Yes, right. uh -huh. even has, Thing I love about this it has the openings in it. Really easy to get your pieces out. No, See how oh, nice. nice. Yes. Have, have you ever struggled with a, a little die cut piece Absolutely. that won't come out? Absolutely. <laughs> you already got the opening in there for you. And you talk to it and you. <laughs> You're like, come on. All right. So this one I made sure when I cut my my um, square opening that I had that open openness um, where I wanted this on the card. So right. I kind of took this. I pencil marked. And then I just made sure I cut a die cut piece okay. opening for this one. 
So we're just gonna adhere this. I had to make my little she shed this bright tealy blue color because that's the color of my craft room. Oh, it's got nice. all sorts of rugs and and artwork on the wall, and I feel like I'm seeing that more and more in craft rooms. Those really pr that really pretty mm -hmm. bright turquoise color. I think you are. Okay. The wow. next piece I did the same. So where I wanted my center when I put this up so I could kind of measure where I wanted to see. I'm just kind of lining everything up. So mm -hmm. I was kind of seeing where I wanted it. This of course has just the half, the half score in between. This is an inch and a half, so it's about three quarters. So I want my score piece to go right in the middle. Okay. First let's adhere this. So made my pencil mark. Same way as we did in the did other the videos. So mm -hmm. yep, watch those videos. Made my pencil mark, got my square opening. And your coloring is very nice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So I do love to color. So I used alcohol-based markers, but whatever okay. kind of coloring you like to use, if you like colored pencils, any sort of coloring medium will work. So I'm just kind of getting that over there. One thing about this piece, make sure you don't have any glue on this backside. Because uh, when you right. fold that diorama down, you don't want it to stick. Be stuck. It so would hold it. I like using. I'm I'm a repositionable <laughs> tape kind of gal. I, that's all I use because who knows? I could change my mind. <laughs> or you might need to make a little adjustment. I there, might huh? need to make an adjustment. So I'm going to make sure my score line is right about halfway through this one and a half inch piece. So right in the center. Right in the center. There. Okay. See our panels are coming together. Right. So onto the inside. This piece we're just making sure that we can see our bunny. So even, I can just use this one piece to kind of get him centered. I want him about there. Again, just glue. The thing I like about this piece is it's really fun to display. Yes. So this would be a great, um, really heartfelt card to send to someone that can display. Yeah, it's nice it stands up. Mm -hmm. So it could be sitting and looking at them at their, on their counter or their desk. Mm -hmm. So for our closures, I'm going to make sure, I'm going to get this first piece down. So all we really have to do is fold down the card. So I'm going to do my half inch, glue along my half inch. And I'm going to fold this, you can see here, fold this piece down. It's going to get it in the perfect okay. perfect place on this end panel. So you left it flat. I left it flat, mm -hmm. yep. And then all I have to do is flatten it down and get that last half inch piece secured. I'm going to push that down. And it all comes together. Nice. Like so. Just just like magic. Just like magic. So and you can still see if your if your recipient leans the card, they can still see each of those full panels from mm -hmm. the top. But it just gives you something a little different from the inside. Right. And plus it's flat when you mail it. That's what's mm -hmm. really nice too. Yeah. I like and then you can do your message if you want on the back of it. Mm hmm Definitely. And speaking of messages. Messages. I've got <laughs> It has this cute sentiment with this set, always among the blooms. Sweet. So I'm just going to put this onto my card up here, like so. Yeah. I can take my scissors and just trim off the end. You control it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I see a stray flower pot. One little flower pot left, so this cute little one. Um, I'm just going to pop this up on a little piece of foam tape. Okay. That's nice. So I've got just my foam tape. Something a little extra. Mm -hmm. It's nice to put that on the front panel, even if you're doing that three panel fold. Just a little something on the top. Like so. Very sweet. And like I had mentioned, if you have um, if you want to send this to different people, mm -hmm. you can take this little she shed and just stamp it in afterwards. So the man cave and the she shed in both sets 
come on a little individual nice. stamp. Okay. So you can see on this one, I just stamped that right into that opening. You could also personalize this. Yeah. Do you want to write someone's name? I could put Paulette in here. You could. I could put Bonnie in here. Right. So you can write in any little or name Kate. as well. Or yes, Kate. Yes, that could work. So this could be mine <laughs> since I love this color. So, but just something a little bit different. It's so. really sweet. So just the measurements and that scoring mm -hmm. and the positioning just works out beautifully. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's really easy to come together and especially if you want to make something very heartfelt, personalized for someone you love. And I just want to make sure you heard, because I'm not sure that it got taped, but Kate said that she's done the trifold before and she just mm -hmm. couldn't bring back the same thing. She had to do something else. I had to else. do something different. So if you still want that same three panel look where let's say the, ha the building would be on the front, mm -hmm. opening to the center with all of the flower pots in the, in the wagon, and then the bunny would be on the inside. So it will work that the will same work. way. Right. So, but just wanted to bring you something a little yep. different this time. Options, we appreciate it. Love having you here. Oh. Thank you for coming. Thanks for having me. <laughs>